Your marks, get set, go. I think take a look at What's up guys, Josiah here and Joe's Place signing in with my first video on YouTube. I hope you guys are having a great day. If not, I hope this video puts a little smile on your face. This channel is going to be mostly about me going to thrift stores, buying and reselling products that are mostly vintage because I like to preserve the older world because that's how it led to where we are living today. So. And we're going to do a little bit of reviews on products that I personally keep when I buy from the thrift stores. Like this one that we're going to be reviewing. I bought this at an antique shop for 10 bucks, And I decided I'm not going to go through the trouble of selling it. So I'm going to make a video for you guys. Building it. Showing you how everything's done. And I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you're not. And hope you guys have a great time. Reviewing this Carrera Go Ferrari Challenge. I bought this at the antique shop. For 10 bucks, I got a great deal, I believe, on it. It was brand new. I opened it already. The track looks like that, so we're going to be building it. Comes with the remote controllers. Comes with the two cars. It comes, it's just great. I think we're going to have a great time doing this. This might be a little longer episode because it might maybe take a little while to build it, but let's hope. It says ages 8 and up. I've never seen really much of these around the area. It says that the track is 5.6 meters altogether. So that ain't too bad. And uh, the track setup actually looks pretty good. Let me see, I might have to hook you up to my thing to open this guy. Nope, I think I got it. Uh, did I open it backwards? I don't think so. I think this just came off. You can see it's been under a little bit of water wear, but everything inside is actually still perfectly intact. Beautiful. Let's check out the instructions. Also, they got a little bit of water damage. So let's see if we can set this thing up for you guys.
Ta-da! Finished product. The whole thing is complete. Everything's set. The controls are set. And now it's time to test it out. Crash. Hi guys, this is like three days later, but I have to interject this because that was not how the way you were supposed to race this set right here. I mean, I was breaking all the time, so I just, before the video continues, I have to show you how the way it really works. Let me see which side is which. So, back then I was doing it like this. You saw me doing that, right? But that, that is the wrong way to do it. Now I'm going to show you the right way to do it. You can see, you're supposed to press this button right here. So the car goes around, and when it gets to the loop, you do it too, right there, too fast there. But then you press. So, you press this button right here, this little red button. There's two buttons. Is this red button or is this red button? You press this lever down, and then when you hit the loop, you press the other red button, and then you race it like that. No chopping and nothing. So that's like way better. Look how much smoother it is than, than the, the practice I just did there. So just to let you guys know, I did learn this the same day. So the video of me and Gabriel racing is like this. So back with the normal video. Go. Oh, hey, hey, do that over. Do that over. What? You, you, were, you had a head start. Let me <clears> say go. All right. You've been saying go for the past four races. Cheat. Your marks. Get set. Go. I do take a lead. Are you running me off the road? No, that's my... No, wait. This is my... You're cheating. I should get a head start for that. Look at that. <laughs> Second time you ran me you off the that? road. Of course I could. What type of cheating thing is this? That's part of car racing. No, it's not. Me? Yeah. I'm being your rep. I know. It was Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Smash that subscribe button, like, comment, turn on notifications so you can never miss a video. I soon am going to come up with my new series on buying and selling products, which I intend to be the main content on this channel. And also, if you guys want to buy some of the products that, I'm, that I buy and sell, I'm going to try. I'm still learning a little bit of the YouTube, so I'm going to try to put my eBay store in the description below. But if not, it's definitely coming up soon. So until next time, this is Josiah signing out.